It's time to start Q&A. Last week I asked you guys about uh, some questions for a Q&A. Maybe you were curious, maybe you were trying to ask us something in the last months, last years, so yeah. There are some questions. I won't be answering them all because this video would be an hour long. But I am going to uh, answer the questions that were commonly asked and that uh, will give answers for like the general information about our company and about our painting assembling process. So yeah, stay tuned. You may know, you may not know, that uh, we are a company based in Toruń, Poland and we are taking care of painting models and assembling models uh, for all of the board games and all the models that you can think of, not only for the Warhammer. But a few years back we decided to create a daughter company, Wildemesh, and uh, they are taking care of 3D models, 3D printing. So yeah, you can track their activity through their socials as well as ours. Uh, but they also have Patreon and there you can find all of their projects, all of their recent projects uh, as well as their previous projects uh, because they are sharing all of their ideas with people uh, you can also become their patron and uh, get access to all of those projects to print yourself uh, yeah as well as many other benefits so you can always check that on their site and if you're interested scroll through their projects I think you're gonna like it Actually, it depends on the painter, because me, myself, I hate working on big armies, I prefer uh, smaller commissions, but I know people who like working on big armies and uh, they relax themselves through painting them, so yeah, it depends. But me, myself, I hate it, I, 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 really, I really hate it because it requires so much patience and, and skills and, and patience and, and patience like you work hours and hours on the same on the same same model and you do the same work every time the same lines the same the same everything Everything's the same! <laughs> Smaller commissions require more like a color scheme making skills. Yeah, you have to think of new things, new perspective, new ideas because uh, like board games not seen before needs to be done uh, from the very beginning and you have to think of the way of accomplishing color the client wants to but with the paint you have available in the studio and uh, with the way that you're gonna like it and will be uh, on the level of painting from our studio. So yeah, it's complicated, but uh, it requires uh, some skills with uh, color merging. Yeah, I like it. I, I really like it. I think it's individual for every painter, but uh, the characteristic 
characteristic characteristic uh, that is uh, commonly liked uh, between the painters it's for the brush sharp tip and holding paint for a long time and for airbrush usability for the brush if the brush is able to make a pupil it's a good brush and for the airbrush it gets stuck with paint so easily and it's common that a lot of painters are swearing during the using of an airbrush uh, so yeah if the airbrush is working fine it's a good airbrush but uh, I've seen people using different types of uh, airbrushes so I think it's also a matter of an individual painter yeah actually that's that's a crazy question but I asked people in our studio what was their favorite ice cream flavor and this is what they answered our biggest order is still ongoing and it is 395 models of Dark Angels. Yeah, it's a big, big commission, and we have to we had to split it in 10 smaller commissions for our painters and assemblers to uh, do the job properly. And uh, the like, if the commission is too big, it, it's just hard, you know to gather all the information and not making mistakes so if you split it in smaller pieces it's just easier to communicate and uh, for the information to flow from each department to uh, each department so yeah but almost 400 models yeah, actually you may have seen pictures of those models because we updated our social with them. So yeah, stay updated because there will be there will be some more of those models. They look freaking amazing. They just they just mind blow. Their mind is blown, they're mind blowing, they're amazing. Yeah, we do. We have that written down and uh, it's red necrons for our client Jimmy. You may see the pictures right now. It was in 2013 in June. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I wasn't uh, a worker in here back then, but yeah, our company is quite old. We are elderly. Okay, we are skilled and we can paint anything, okay? We will just paint anything you can imagine. But there are some problems with every commission that we take on and usually it is uh, related to the materials that the minis are made with if it's made with low quality plastic or resin it will be poorly uh, sculptured we are gonna put just more work into getting rid of, rid of errors and mold lines and such so yeah it's not gonna be easy but we are gonna make it so problems can occur in every commission but 
usually we are not having problems, bigger problems with any of it. Yeah. Actually, finding people who to paint isn't that troublesome because not every one in here is a professional painter we are just skilled to in training people like seriously we have people that have been painters before working in here like me myself i was in art school and i did i usually did drawings so yeah i was more like a sketch person but after coming in here i learned i just learned how to use brush and paints and yeah after that i just trained and trained and worked and painted and it made me a painter and now i can paint just anything okay maybe not anything i'm not old enough so yeah that's the answer we get people from the street <laughs> mostly and we train them to be painters of course they usually have skills like they can do origami <laughs> or like handicrafts but uh, like usually they just didn't paint any minis ever in their lives me personally i would recommend coming here in spring or summer because it's warm and you can not only visit our studio but you can also see the Tory city actually our city is a gothic one and we have so many beautiful beautiful buildings and we have tons of tons tons of gingerbread tons of gingerbread and Mikolai Kopernik was born in here so yeah I think it's worth coming and of course we are here so duh okay so it is a question to every painter separately, but there are three common characteristics to every more difficult uh, commission and they are poor sculpture, metal models and magnetizations. Then is about 50 people and uh, wild mesh is 20 people so in general we have about 70 people in here in den of imagination our quartermaster is Agnieszka and she's doing lots of stuff mostly she's taking care of uh, our supplies and uh, she's making sure everything is on its place and the quality and the number of paints, brushes, uh, glues, everything is on its place. Uh, if we have any problem, we go to her and we uh, figure it out together. So yeah, she's doing lots of stuff. I think our work wouldn't be as smooth as it is without Agnieszka. No, actually we didn't reject anyone ever, because why? Uh, no, actually we, we didn't. Actually, for a regular worker, it's not much of a difference because our line of work didn't change. So, uh, for me, it's not that different. 
maybe we have uh, more orders and this is good, this is great, you can order some more. And maybe the number of people in our company increased and like it's, it's just more difficult to remember everyone's names. But other than that, I don't think so, I don't see much difference. Yeah. We are not planning to do a battle report, but we are thinking about it. Uh, it is not impossible for us to do a battle report, but no, for now we are not going to. Actually, there is one channel that is doing the battle report with miniatures painted by us and it's Winter CEO, so you can go there and check it out. We are really, really recommending his channel. I've gone through lots of master painters in here and their answers were pretty similar. You have to work for a long time in them because you have to be experienced and you have to know what you're doing. Um, otherwise, it would be just challenging to work in here. You have to work quick and beautiful. Uh, you have to watch your time on the commission and you have to do it thoroughly so the models will be pleasing to watch as well as uh, correct for the battle so yeah it is very important he's a young leader of our assemblers and he is just so creative and talented i can even comprehend how and what he's doing because it is so cool. He watches TV series and movies and some references on the internet and he just put it on the miniature and it looks good. How? I don't know. I I I'm just capable of painting it. No, oh, I don't know. He's doing magic. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Go to our socials for more of the amazing miniatures and see you soon. Bye! Yeah, we do.